Um, deer fishing, I love you, right? And I do, it's true. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Drop some comments. What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Money, power, fame, none of that matters. Welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. You may be asking, Brian, why do you have tape on your shirt? Well, it's because I have to censor it for YouTube. No more freedom of speech anymore, guys. But if you do enjoy the outdoors and fishing and stuff like that, travel, family, and all those good things in life, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell right now. What's up, guys? I hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving with their friends and family. But now it's time to get back on track and catch some fish. Take off this Cash King backpack. Today is uh, fish giving. Fish giving me some fun. So I'm gonna try to cast out and catch some fish. It's an ugly day, you know. I, I would have preferred, you know, a little more sun out. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm still fishing, right? So it doesn't really matter. I hope everyone enjoyed their dinners and everything. Because I sure did. But now it's time to try and catch a fish. Problem is, finding them today. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. That'll work, that'll work. That'll work. There it is. Here we go. That's how you break ice. First fish of the day, right there. Whoop, whoop. These are strong little fish. They stay green. But look, look at the colors, look at the patterns on there. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Little peacock, just let him go. See if we can find another one. Finally, got me a fish. Well, I guess that means I need to cast again, right? So what'd you guys eat for uh, Thanksgiving yesterday? You know, what'd you have? Mashed potatoes and turkey and stuff, the traditional stuff, ham. Drop some comments. What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? What's your favorite, what's, what's your favorite thing that you look forward to on Thanksgiving? You know, I wanna know in the comments, because like I said, this is a family channel. You guys are my family. Part of CEO fam that loses fish when they shouldn't lose fish. Well, that might just be my side of the family. Who knows? But yeah, I'm interested. What is your favorite part of Thanksgiving? Is it friends, family, food, me? I just like hanging out with my family. And uh, I always got good memories since I was a little kid of uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. I always got to see my cousins and stuff at that time and my uncles and it was a big group. So I always have very fond memories of that. Um, so forever that'll be embedded into my brain. And I try and share that with my kids, I try and get my kids to be part of the family functions and, and stuff like that. So uh, for me, it's family, friends and family and just being together. That's what I'm always thankful for. Money, power, fame, none of that matters if I don't have family, not even fishing. Although fishing would help me deal with not having family, but you know what? I got family, so fishing is just a bonus for me. Come on, come on, bomb, 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 uh, 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 hurry up and catch a fish. Now that's what I'm using, bomb. This show is brought to you by The Real Hooker Bait and Tackle, Miami's premier bait and tackle shop. Swing by for all of your fresh and saltwater needs. They've got all the lures and tackle that you need, fishing rods and coolers, live bait, and a friendly smile. And don't forget to mention CEO Fishing when you stop by. The rain is getting a little thicker over here. So maybe they want to feed right before a storm. Or maybe that's the only fish I'm going to catch today. Who knows? Oh, no. Ooh, I just got smacked. I just got smacked. Let's do that again. Seems like there's a, there's a few over this ledge here. I think I need to go over here. Right there. That's it right there. So, keep the rod tip up just because there's a ledge there. Oh, bingo, I just missed it. 
Aye. So they're hitting over this ledge. Let's go. Right there. Just trying to work it back, you know? Come on. Come on. Slow it down right there. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Got him. Woo, he jumped and spit my lure. Ah, that was a nice jump. Looked like a, came out the water like a tarpon. Oh, it happens. It happens. Unfortunately, it happens to me a lot, but it does happen. Tip got wrapped too at the same time. So that did not help things, but let's see if there's any more hanging out. Maybe there's like a school over there just chilling or something, you know? Come on. Maybe I tighten my drag a little bit. Golly, I'm not setting the hook. Why? Because my drag's too loose. There we go. Now I'm not gonna lose a fish. Now I'm not gonna lose a fish. You know what, let's, let's get ready for this. Put the backpack right there. Because deer fishing, I love you, right? And I do, it's true. Yeah, I see that, right? So, if there's a school here, damn it, I'm gonna catch one. Another one. Come on. I gotta set the hell out of this hook. Got him. That is three fails back to back, and look at the tip of my rod. These things are not playing nice. They're here. Let's try this again. So what's that? One for five or something like that? I'm trying to set it the other way. Keep it tight, just rip them straight to the surface. Man, don't tell me I was the last one. Comment below, have you guys ever had a day like this where you're just, you're, you're hooking them, but you're not landing them? And tell me what I'm doing wrong. I need to learn. I need to learn how to fish one day. They're all getting right here to the edge where I gotta kinda flip it over the grass and stuff. Here, let me see if I can show you guys. Come down here, you see this? I'm getting into the edge here and I'm trying to like flip them out over the grass uh, and they're jumping at the same time. So pretty sure it's all my fault that I'm losing the fish, but just so you have an idea of what I'm working with here. All right. Let's go for a large mouth. Pretty sure if I let that just drop right about there, that I landed on a large mouth's head. Or not, you know. But it would have been a lot cooler if I did on the first hookup, you know? Or on that cast. Alright. Oh, he let go. No, no, it was grass. That was grass. So I had a flurry of fish. I landed one. I think I jumped, what, three or four that I absolutely blew it because I should have caught those fish. They were on the hook, so there's no excuse. I mean, I can make excuses, but at the end of the day, I didn't catch the fish, so. Right now, it's just a matter of finding where they are at. On to the next spot. I mean, so far you've watched me basically choke. Those fish uh, should have been landed, but they weren't. I'm gonna blame it on too much turkey in my tummy. The, the rain is so thin that it actually looks like mist going across the lake here. And this camera is not waterproof, so I gotta, I gotta be careful. But one more cast, one more cast. Slow sink it right into the mouth of a fish. Can you imagine that? Like, literally calling last. I've done it before. Last cast, hooked a fish. One more cast. All day, baby. Woo! You never had a chance to catch a peacock bass. You gotta come down to Miami. 
South Florida. That's where it's at. Lift them up. Ah, nice. Nice male peacock bass. Oh, he still got fight and bite. Right there, baby. That's how we do it. Barely hooked. Look, right in the lip. Nice little male. Let him go. Guys, thanks for watching. Again, if you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell right now. And until next time, guys, keep your head up, keep moving forward, and tight lines. Zzz.